Well, a health alert right now to tell you about working long hours or studying for exams might make it tempting to reach for an energy drink. Right. Well, if you're eating right and getting enough sleep but still feeling tired, the doctor says something else might be happening and you should see a doctor. Here's NBC Charlotte's Carolyn Brock. These uh, energy drinks, one of the biggest problems is that we have the faintest idea what's in them. They are not required by law to disclose the contents. Uh, some people have done some independent analyses, and at least a few of them are just loaded with huge amounts of caffeine. Cleveland Clinic's Dr. Steven Neeson did not take part in the study, but says when it comes to energy drinks, you are rolling the dice with your health. The study compares people who drank a 32 ounce energy drink and people who didn't. Participants were then tested and researchers discovered those who drank the drinks had elevated blood pressure and other changes, which then could lead to heart rhythm disturbances. The doctor points out that an average cup of coffee has about 25 to 50 milligrams of caffeine. Now, in comparison, research has shown that some energy drinks can have anywhere from 200 to 250 milligrams of caffeine. That's like having five or 10 cups of coffee in one sitting. And while caffeine is generally considered safe, the doctor says loading up on that much of it all at once, especially for someone who might have a heart condition, isn't wise. He says people who find themselves reaching for energy drinks should look at getting more sleep instead. People need to work on their, their sleep habits so that they are getting a good night's sleep. You know, seven to eight hours of sleep is normal for, you know, adults, uh, more for children. Uh, and don't use an energy drink as a substitute for good sleep habits. 